All right, welcome everybody. We're going to be uh, starting a new series here, and it's going to be called Friday Fruit Clips, where we're going to be focusing on three or four or maybe more uh, false prophets and some of the ridiculous things that they've said or done. So with that, let's get started with episode one. All right, so first up, we've got Amanda Grace. This is a video from about three days ago. You can see the title. It's very official sounding. A sobering word from the Lord 2023 and what's coming. Now she goes through this video and she gives her alleged prophecy, none of which you can measure. Same old, same old. But what troubled me came at the end. And again, when the Bible talks of those who would make merchandise of you, nobody makes merchandise of you better than Amanda Grace. Watch. She's ready for night night. Chet is literally trying to be viewed by the camera right now, literally. Um, and 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 Bentley's in the bathroom, so this is my life. Okay, everyone. God bless. We'll announce soon. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. Hello, everyone. This is Amanda Grace, and I wanted to tell you if you are interested in where you should invest financial matters, if precious metals, if gold and silver is something that you should invest in or should be a part of your portfolio, please go to bh-pm.com. That is bh-pm.com. Beverly Hills Precious Metals. Andrew Sorcini, who has been on Art of Grace before, he loves to answer our viewers' questions, is more than happy to guide you and to answer your questions and to help you in those financial matters. So please go to bh-pm.com today. Thank you, everyone. God bless. You want to support an amazing patriot that's doing so much for our country and be a blessing you can go to mypillow.com and use promo code ARK ARK to save up to 66 percent or sometimes more off of all my pillow products they are so much more than just pillows they have amazing bath robes they have sheets they have slippers they of course have pillows and they even have dog beds and i will tell you a fun fact noble arcade at the animal sanctuary that many of you know and love has indeed slept on a my pillow dog bed so if you'd like to be a blessing go to mypillow.com and use promo code ARK god bless everyone if you are looking for an excellent doctor if you are looking to get healthier if you are looking for guidance Go to Sherwood.tv forward slash Amanda Grace. Dr. Mark Sherwood and his lovely wife, Dr. Michelle, have the Functional Medical Institute in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Both myself and my husband, Chris, and let me tell you, God bless Dr. Sherwood because Chris was a top nut to rap on this. But Chris is finally on board, and we are both patients of his. I have to tell you, they have helped us tremendously. They also have an amazing line of products that are excellent for your health and can help you get your health back on track. So if you would like to make an appointment with them or you want to go see uh, what they are all about, what products they have, you can go to Sherwood.tv forward slash Amanda Grace. If you would like to grow your own food, with what we see going on right now in the world, with not only food supplies, but what they are doing to our food, you can... All right, so as you can see, Amanda Grace is nothing but a merchandiser, using the name of Jesus Christ to gain monetarily. I, I think this is an absolute shame. It's a real credibility factor also. Her credibility goes right out the window, as all she does at the end of these videos, these alleged prophecies, which are so important, she says, from God. And she just uses that to wind up pitching products at the end. How much money do these prophets need? It is absolutely ridiculous. And it's shameless. All right, next up, we've got Julie Green. This is a video she did in January of last year, 2022. You can see the thumbnail. Prophetic word, 2022, the year of fulfillment. If you scroll down, there it is. One thing I want to bring to your attention, look at the views that she had on this video from a year ago. Only about 2,000. Now, if we fast forward a year, She's got this new video she put out yesterday. Look, pretty similar. Look at the thumbnail. 2023, a year to be free and a year of great victory. Look at the difference in the view count. Ladies and gentlemen, if you ever want to see delusion play out in real time, look how far she's come in one year. That is amazing. And this is basically 24 hours she's got 127,000 views compared to 2,000 last year. But what you're going to see here is it's the same message. She's forgotten all about 2022 and the dastardly lies that she uttered in the name of Jesus Christ, none of which, she said, came to pass. She's just 
forwarded it into 2023. It's absolutely amazing. Same pig, just a different shade of lipstick. So we're going to listen to a little bit of this as she gives this new word. I'll make it big. And we'll come up here. And let's listen to what she has to say. All right, now, now as you can tell, because I started giving you part of it. So here it is, a 2023, a year to be free, and a year of great victory. For I, the Lord, this day, am telling my children what to say, what to declare in this new year of 2023. 2023, a year to be free. 2023, a year of glee. 2023, a year of prosper or prophecy. 2023, a year to end what you see. 2023, a year of great victory. 2023, a year of great prosperity. Good grief. So what she's done here with a smile on her face She's turned the Word of God into Dr. Seuss. She's turned God into, what, a rapper? Jesus is laying down his rhymes. He's laying down a rap. It is uh, so utterly blasphemous, as in all of her pomp, just blows past the prophetic disaster of 2022, again, with no accountability. And now it's just all 2023. You will be free. 2023, the year of prosperity. Dr. Seuss, this is, you know, I do not like green eggs and ham. It is incredible. I would offer you this. It's clear that Julie Green has zero fear of the living God. Her past false prophecies prove this. It's gotten so bad that I would argue again that she has moved from merely falsely prophesying and lying in the name of Jesus Christ to outright mocking our living God. That God would sit on his throne and say, Julie, say this to the people. 2023, the year to be free. 2023, for you and me. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam. I am. It's incredible. And, and so please think about this. This is a child who is mocking God. And she will not stop. The reason she will not stop is because her followers refuse to hold her accountable. They just refuse. They are sold on the entertainment of hearing these new, alleged new words from God, which again, are not from God. She's proven that, but the followers don't want to hear it, so they're not going to hold her accountable. They're hooked. This is like a drug. So again, shame on Julie Green. Julie, if you're listening, you will not be held unaccountable by God. You are one of those who lies in the name of Jesus Christ. One of the worst crimes committed. And if you want to know the outcome of that crime, read Deuteronomy chapter 18, verses 20 through 22. I am astonished at the absolute absence of fear that you have of our living God. Shame on you. All right, so our last clip is with Robin Bullock as he appeared on Elijah Clips. Let's give it a listen. You know, I saw Jesus walk out of thin air one day. Wow. And I wasn't expecting it. Steve, I wasn't expecting it. I just saw him step out of another world. He came into the room where I was. I'm not talking about in like a dream. I'm sitting there studying. And I'm, just, and I'm, I'm getting ready to go over to a church and preach. And, and the Lord said, I got up. And they were starting praise and worship. Well, I never would go into the church until praise and worship started. That way, I didn't have to talk to a lot of people because I want God's voice to be the last thing I hear before I preach. 
Yeah, and so I walked, I walked in there. I don't want to preach the gospel according to them. So, you know, so I go in there. I start to get up and go in there. And the Lord said, won't you just sit down here a while for me and spend some time with me? I said, okay. I said, I so here's what we've got so far. Robin's getting ready to preach. He's studying. Jesus physically walks into the room. But then Robin decides he needs to get up and go preach and, you know, leave Jesus in the room. And it's Jesus who has to beckon to him. No, no, just stay with me a while. And he says, okay. Now, on any planet, is that or does that sound normal? If Jesus walked into the room where you were right now, would it even cross your mind to get up to go do something else, anything else? And the answer is, of course, no. But Robin wants you to believe that, well, I, I got to go preach. Here I go, Jesus. I, I've got to leave you. No, that, that just doesn't happen. This is how you can know that he's lying. Down. I said, Lord, I, you know, a few minutes, I got up to pray again, knelt down and got up to leave. And he said, won't you stay a while with me? Okay, so it happened again. So he knelt down to pray while Jesus was with him in the room. And then he got up to leave again. And then Jesus, again, had to beckon to him. No, no, stay with me. Spend some time with me. And he just said, well, all right. I will. I mean, again, this is bananas. Nobody would leave the presence of the physical Jesus ever. But Robin's like, well, I got to go. I got to go preach about, well, you know, you, Jesus, to these other people. So I got to go. You know, just feel free to hang out. You know, there's some lunch meats in the fridge if you get hungry, some assorted cold cuts and some cold sodas. Just, you know, there's the clicker if you want to watch some TV. Mi casa su casa. That's what he wants you to believe. I said, Lord, they're doing praise and worship. He said, I can, he said, he said, I can handle that. Yeah, so, that's crazy. Yeah, Lord, I I got to go. They're doing praise and worship. I got to go. I get, my, my guitar is getting cold. I got to go. He's like pleading with Jesus. Lord, I, I got to go. Again, does that sound normal? Look at Steve here. Really? Did that really happen? It's crazy. Th this man is a, a lying storyteller. He tells these stories and he gets a kick out of the fact that Steve gets a kick out of it. This is all just fun and games. But again, Lord, I got to go. And I can hear that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, duh. And I yeah. said, he said, I can handle that. I said, and I said, yes, sir. Because I'll do anything he tells me. And as long as I know he told me, I don't have no problem with it. And I, I, I knelt down again to pray and I got back up and sat down. And I looked over to my right just like that. And when I did, the air in an oval shape turned into water it looked like water and it was in this oval like and it was about the size of a man and it just looked like water kind of like those lights you see behind me but yeah. it was clear and i looked at it and way off in the distance and that oval was a a, a little bitty jesus about this tall crazy and he was coming toward that opening and as he got closer he got bigger and bigger and bigger and when he got to the end of it, he was taller than me. And he stepped right through that Jeez. thing. And I'm just looking. You can imagine what I'm thinking. Yeah. And I'm just looking at him and he stepped. So I would bet dollars to donuts that the night before, Robin Bullock watched Stargate. I have no doubt. Because he just described a scene or several scenes out of the Hollywood movie Stargate. And sadly, he's using Jesus, that somehow Jesus uses a Stargate to walk right into his room. And again, why am I showing you this? It's because Robin Bullock is a false prophet. 
and he's a liar. Nobody gets up to walk out on Jesus. There are billions who've lived in this world that would have loved to have been in an actual situation where Jesus walks into the room. But with Robin, not once, but twice, and who knows, according to his story, he felt it necessary to exit the room in which Jesus was present to go preach or to play, you know, praise and worship or whatever he does uh, and to leave Jesus sitting there. And it, and it was Jesus who had to beckon to him to stay. It's just crazy. Robin Bullock is all about Robin Bullock. He preaches a me-centered false gospel. It's all about him. And he tells these fantastic stories because he knows that there are simple-minded people, gullible people, who will believe him. And eventually, uh, concluding his alleged encounter by saying that Jesus walked through a star date. It's just crazy. He's a liar. Stay away from Robert Bullock. So we'll wrap up episode one with a couple of verses out of Matthew 24. Let's start in verse 24. Jesus said, For there shall arise false Christs and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Behold, I have told you before. Wherefore, if they shall say to you, Behold, he is in the desert, go not forth. Behold, he is in secret chambers, believe it not. There was a story Robin just told you about Jesus coming into his chambers. What does Jesus tell you to do? Don't believe it. Be aware of what they're saying. Don't just believe anything or everything they say based on what they say. Use the brain that God gave you. Go to the Word of God and check it out for yourself. Jesus warned you, please listen to him. Stay away from false prophets.